Hello, how are you? こんにちは皆さんお元気ですか Today the karate video number 53 I'm going to talk about 武道 Last week in number 52 I talked about the difference between 武道 and 武士道 Today is the varieties of 武道 The first martial arts Karate, karate, and this is kanji, how to write karate. The first one, this is sora. Sora is sky. And also we can pronounce ku, like kuki. Kuki, this is the air that we breathe. Kuki. And also we can pronounce kara. And when we say kara, this is empty. This There's nothing, empty, karapo. Mm, nothing inside, karapo. And te, this is hands. So, karate with this kanji, it means empty hands. Karate can be practiced as an art budo, or self defense, or as a combat sport. Traditional karate. Places emphasis on self development, that is budo. Modern Japanese style training emphasizes the philosophical elements incorporated into a proper kokoro, this is attitude or the mind, such as perseverance, fearlessness, virtue, and leadership skills. Sport karate. Places emphasis on exercise and competition. Karate training is commonly divided into three things. One, kihon, this is basics or fundamentals. And the second, kata, forms. And the last, kumite, sparring. Second martial art, judo. Judo. Long sound with u. Judo, and with this kanji. And do, this means street, where we walk street or path. And the way, this is do, we can also pronounce michi. And ju, and this ju, we can also pronounce yawara kai. Yawara and kai. And Okrigata, yawara kai. Yawara kai, this is something so smooth, so smooth and nice to, to touch. It's the contrary of katai. Katai, it's something very hard. Katai. And yawara kai, soft. And also flexible. For example, yawara kai, karada, flexible. Flexible body. Yawarakai, karada. And judo, so this means flexible way, gentle way. So this is judo. Judo was created in 1882 by Jigoro Kano or Kano Jigoro as a physical, mental, and moral pedagogy in Japan. And since 1964, this is competed in Olympic Games. And that year, 1964, that was Tokyo Olympic Games. Judo practice is supposed to train an individual to obtain self -dis discipline, retrained coordination, mutual benefit, and companionship. Practicing judo supposedly contributes not only to physical development but also to psychological maturity. Judo has philosophical as well as sporting goals, and these involve the development of character and the attainment of values such as sincerity, honesty, Courage, compassion, friendship, and respect. 
The next, kendo. Kendo. Well, do is the same the way, the path. Ken, this is sword. Sword. So, kendo, the way of a sword or the sword way. There's very famous anime called Ruroni Kenshin. Ruroni Kenshin. Because in that anime, they fight with their katana. Ken, kendo. And in kendo, they use bogu. Bogu. Bo, this kanji bo, this is meant to avoid. Avoid something. Fusegimasu. Fusegu. Avoid. And gu, this is materials or ingredients. That's a gu, this kanji. So, bogu, in this case, materials to avoid from injuries. Bogu. This is the picture of armor. Bogu. And properly called kendogu. Kendo equipment. String armor used primarily in kendo. And a set of bogu has four components. Men, this is helmet, men, or omen, men. Combined face mask and shoulder protectors. Kote, gauntlets, hand and forearm protectors. Do, torso protector, like breastplate. And tare, groin and leg protectors. Kendo is descended from swordmanship, kenjutsu. And that uses bamboo sword called shinai, as well as protective armor called bogu. Kendo is an activity that combines martial arts practices and values with strenuous sport like physical activity. Kendo is a way to discipline the human character through the application of the principles of the katana. And the purpose is like this. To mold the mind and body, to cultivate a vigorous spirit, and through correct and structured training, to strive for improvement in the art of kendo, to hold in esteem, courtesy, and honor, to associate with others with sincerity. And to forever pursue the cultivation of oneself. Thus, will one be able to love one's country and society, to contribute to the development of culture, and to promote peace and prosperity among all people. It's quite beautiful. Next martial art is. Sumo, sumo. And the kanji, the first kanji, we usually pronounce ai from aite. Aite is opponent. Or, or we, we, we can say so, but here we say su. And the second one, mo, but we usually pronounce boku. And this means to beat or to strike. So sumo. This is like a Japanese wrestling, but sumo, sumo, this kanji also means to fight. To fight so as not to lose. So, this is sumo, is to fight, and you try not to lose with your opponent. So, it's like a wrestling. Sumo. Sumo is a form of competitive full contact wrestling. Where a rikishi, rikishi, wrestler, or small player 
tries to force his opponent out of a circular ring called dohyo, or into touching the ground with any body part other than the soles of his feet, usually by throwing, shoving, or pushing him down. Sumo is originated in Japan, the only country where it is practiced professionally. And it's considered as the national sport. Sumo has a history spanning many centuries, and many ancient traditions have been preserved in Sumo. And even today, the sport includes many ritual elements, such as the use of salt purification from Shinto. Next martial art is Kyudo, very elegant sport. Kyudo. Well, Q, we pronounce like Q, just like number 9, 1234567, Q, like Q, but different kanji. Here, 1, 2, 3, like this. This kanji, it means bow. So Kyudo is Japanese archery. Kyudo practice, as in all Budo, includes the idea of moral and spiritual development. Today, many archers practice Kyudo as a sport, with marksmanship being paramount. However, the goal most devotees of Kyudo seek in Seisha Seishu. Correct shooting is correct hitting. In Kyudo, the unique action of expansion that results in a natural release is sought. When the technique of the shooting is correct, the result is that the arrow hits the target. To give oneself completely to the shooting is the spiritual goal achieved by perfection of both the spirit and shooting technique leading to munen muso, no thoughts, no illusions. As I explained to you about kudo, I'd like to add this word, yabusame. Yabusame. Well, the kanji is quite difficult. But anyway, the, the second one, I never used it. So I, I almost didn't know it. But the first one, this is nagaremasu, nagareru. This, this means water flows. Flows. This is nagaremasu. And the last one, this kanji is easy. It's a JLPT five level. Well, this is uma. Uma, this is horse, the animal, horse. I think now you imagine what is yabusame, right? Let's see it. Yabusame is a type of mountain archery in traditional Japanese archery. An archer on a running horse shoots three special turnip-headed arrows successfully at three wooden targets. This style of archery has its origins at the beginning of the Kamakura period. Minamoto no Yoritomo, the shogun, became alarmed at the lack of archery skills his samurais possessed. So he organized Yabusame as a form of practice. Yabusame was designed as a way to please and entertain the myriad of gods that watch over Japan, thus encouraging their blessing for the prosperity of the land, the people, and the harvest. A Yabusame archer gallops down a 255-meter-long track that is about 280 yards at high speed 
The archer mainly controls his horse with his knees, as he needs both hands to draw and shoot his bow. As he approaches a target, he brings his bow up and draws the arrow past his ear before letting the arrow fly. Aikido. Aikido. Well, this is a very beautiful name. Aikido. Well, do, this is the way. Ai, this, the unify, to unify or to unit, to unite, unify. And also, harmony. Hmm? This is ai. Ki, our ki. Ki is spirit or vital spirit. Something inside this ki. Hmm? So, aikido, this means the way of unifying with life energy. Ooh, the beautiful. It's like a poetic. Or also the way of harmonious spirit. This is aikido. Aikido is a modern Japanese martial art developed by Morihei Ueshiba. As a synthesis of his martial studies, philosophy, and religious beliefs. Weshiba's goal was to create an art that practitioners could use to defend themselves while also protecting their attackers from injury. According to the founder's philosophy, the primary goal. In the practice of Aikido, is to overcome oneself instead of cultivating violence or aggressiveness. Naginata, naginata. We use with this kanji, nagi, and the second one is katana, sword. Katana. But we can also write like this. This kanji, the red one, Nagai, nagai, it means long, nagai, the contrary of mijikai, short. So, naginata, this means long sword, long sword, or pole weapon, pole weapon. And, mu, and lots of occasions we say naginata jutsu, naginata jutsu. Jutsu, this is technique, so technique with naginata, technique with this pole weapon or long sword, naginata. Naginata is a pole weapon and one of several varieties of traditionally made Japanese blades called Nihonto. Naginata were originally used by the samurai class of feudal Japan and is the iconic weapon of the Onna Geisha, a type of female warrior belonging to the Japanese nobility. Naginata for fighting men and warrior monks were O Naginata, big Naginata. The kind used by women was called Ko Naginata, Small naginata. Since the naginata with its pole is heavier and much slower than the Japanese sword, the blade of the ko naginata was smaller than the male warrior's naginata. Male warrior's naginata was o naginata. In order to compensate, for the lesser height and upper body strength of a woman than an armored male samurai. Last one is Shorinji Kenpo. Shorinji Kenpo. Well, Shorin, this is like a Chinese word, Shaolin. Ji, this one is, we can also pronounce, Tera. Tera is temple. Buddhism temple. Kenpo. And this Ken 
we can also pronounce kobushi, fist. So kenpo, this is like a, like a boxing or kung fu. Hmm? Shorinji, kenpo. So it's like a kung fu from the Shorin temple or Shorin temple kung fu. Shorin temple boxings, boxing. Like this Shorinji kenpo. Shorinji Kenpo is quite new martial art. It was born in 1947. Well, in Japan, the, the Second World War finished in 1945. So two years after that, in that time, Japan was very depressed. Everybody was so sad. Then a monk the monk wanted to um, wanted to educate Japanese people to the, educate the way that his grandfather taught him. So this is a kind of education, Shorinji Kenpo. By practicing Shorinji Kenpo and its philosophy, it is believed to develop a very strong and firm body and also never give up spirit. So this Shorinji Kenpo's aim is not to win the competition, but it's to get this kind of the firm, firm body and the spirit to live in the peace and also and you can get the self-confident. Today I explained some of Martial mats, budo. Did you like it? If so, please give me a like. And if you can share my videos with your friends, that will help me a lot. ぜひチャンネル登録といいねボタンそしてコメントがございましたらぜひ下に書いてくださいそれから私のビデオをお友達に紹介していただけたらとてもとても助かりますぜひお願いいたします。ではまた会いましょう。じゃあね、バイバイ。